In my career as a recruiter, I have filled thousands and thousands of roles. And in today's video, I'm going to give you six things that if you hear them in the interview, you need to drop out of the process. Unless, of course, you like being miserable. If you like being miserable, then yeah, absolutely continue with the interview, take the job. Let's go. Now, the first thing you need to be on watch for is a hiring manager who says anything negative about their current team in the interview process. Look, we've all worked with that manager who is negative and is always talking down on people. But why would you willingly walk into that situation? If you're in the interview, this is the point where they, like you, are trying to make the best possible impression. And if during that meeting, they're talking down, telling you that their team is incompetent, they are not good, they're not doing a great job, that's why they need better people, that is not a good thing, it is a terrible thing, and you need to exit the process. Trust me, if you work for that manager, you are not going to be happy. The next thing you need to be on the lookout for is they cannot share with you the expectations of the role. Look, if they are going to be your manager and they don't know what success looks like or what the demands of the role are going to be, they are ill-equipped to be a manager. And it's probably going to mean that your life is going to be challenging because they don't even know how to evaluate your performance. So how do we know it's going to be fair? How do we know if it's going to be doable? How do we know they're going to even know what a good job looks like? The reality is you don't, and you don't want to work for a person like that. So if you see that in the interview process, you know, run, don't walk away from the interview, run. People like working for inspiring leaders. So invertly, people do not like working for uninspiring leaders. So one of the things that you should leave the interview process, if you're in the middle of it, and they can not share this with you, is uh, if they lack the ability to talk to this team's strategic direction. Right, so what does that mean? When you ask them, hey, what are you hoping to accomplish over the next 12 to 18 months with your team? How do you see your team evolving, growing? What's the plan? And they have nothing. A few things here. One, they're not a strategic person. Uh, two, they're not gonna be with the organization that long, so they haven't thought about that. Or three, they're just not really able uh, to explain things to you in the interview. And if the shoe was on the other foot and you could explain it to them, that would be a red flag. For you, it should also be a red flag. It's really important to follow people um, who know where they want to go. And they have a good plan for the future. One of the things that impacts you on a day-to-day -day basis in your career more than anything is working for a great boss. And part of being a great boss is having an idea about what is an appropriate strategic direction. So if they don't have that you want to get out of the interview process. Hey, are you finding value in this video? If so, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It is free. Also like the video. And if you comment below, I promise I will respond. Let's get back. One of the things that you need to drop out of the interview process if you experience it is the hiring manager downplaying any of the accomplishments you share with them, right? So if you're, um, if you're interviewing and you say, they say, um, hey, what's the best thing you've accomplished in your career? And you go, well, one time I did A, B, and C, and it resulted in, you know, C, D, and E, or whatever. Um, and they go, oh, well, that's, that's really not a huge accomplishment. Do you have anything bigger than that? Or, hey, I went and got my degree here. And they go, well, that's not that really that nice of a school. Or, you know, one time I did blank, and they downplay it. You get the pattern here. A manager who is willing to downplay your accomplishments, your achievements, and the things that you've done in your career during an interview is going to be an absolutely abysmal person to work for. Have you ever experienced that? If you have, comment it down below. I can guarantee it wasn't a good place to be if this person has downplayed anything you've done in your interview. If you hear that, get out of there. If they're late to your interview, look, if you show up late to your interview, do you think they are going to hire you? No. And why won't they, right? They think, oh, they didn't make a good impression. They didn't prioritize this. This person has trouble with planning. Well, the same kind of goes through for the hiring manager. Look, there are reasonable reasons to be late to an interview. Uh, not that they'd afford you the, the same sort of flexibility, but if a hiring manager is late to your interview and there is not an exceptional reason, uh, I would be concerned about that because it is their responsibility. It is their job. They didn't have to like take off work to come interview you. This is their job. And if they can't prioritize that, it would make me question what kind of manager they're going to be in general. If they interrupt you during the interview, that is a sign that you probably don't wanna work with this person and you need to drop out of the interview process now. Look, they're asking you questions. So they should afford you the opportunity to answer them. And if while you're answering or while you're talking, they're interrupting you, not once, but if you notice like a pattern of it, one, that's probably incredibly frustrating. Unless you want to enter into that type of frustrating work environment, you want to avoid it. But it also says a lot about their character, the way they value people, and their manners. 
And for me, that is something where if I experience it in the interview, I would wanna drop out. One of the most important moments in the entirety of a job interview is when you introduce yourself. And believe it or not, there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. But doing it correctly can absolutely set you on a positive path to landing a job and getting a job offer. So that's why I made this video right here. This video here tells you the perfect way to do it so you absolutely nail this mission critical part of your next interview. So I am done here, but tell you what, I'll catch you over there.